What's up everybody? Marky Mark here with Hele Fitness and we're breaking down one of our workout complexes. Come check it out. It is the Kanak Attack Complex. Kanak really Kanaka Hawaiian meaning a Hawaiian. Um, let's go over this workout. I'm going to break it down for you in detail, both sections, and then I'll go ahead and break down each movement and if you need to scale it, how to scale it. Okay. So the goal is to complete four to six rounds of work. And if that's not where you're at, you do two to three, it is what it is. But four to six rounds is a pretty good amount of volume. The RPE, and we're just talking about the intensity output, is at seven. So if you're thinking on a scale from kind of one to 10, you're at about 70% intensity. And then finally, the zone training that's in there is just to give you an idea of where your beats per minute could potentially be. Um, I think between right around 145 maxing out at 165 would be a good zone to be in throughout this workout. So looking at the workout itself, we start off with six reps for each movement, and this is a double arm dumbbell complex. First thing you're gonna do is start off with 100 jump rope singles. Now, if you don't have a jump rope, you can knock out 150 jumping jacks. That'll be what you adapt the workout to. The next thing we're going to do is six of the sumo deadlift, six reps of our front squat, six double arm uh, swings, six alternating strict press, six alternating bent over rows, and then you can rest 90 seconds. If you feel like you want to start before that because you're already rested, go for it. It's just a baseline of rest. If you need a little more rest as well, totally up to you. So that's a round. And again, the goal is to complete four to six. When you're finished with that, rest for a couple of minutes, three to five minutes, and then we want to knock out 20 reps, if that's where you're at, if you have to scale it down, that's fine, of hollow rocks, leg raises, and front to back planks. So we have this core finisher that's in the workout as well. All right, so let's go ahead and break down each one of these movements, and then we'll break down the core, and then we'll let you get after it, people. All right, sumo deadlifts. Main thing when you're doing your movements is uh, movement mechanic efficiency and being safe and honestly just having fun, enjoying your workout. So after you hit the jump rope, you come off. The first thing we're gonna do is we wanna squat up two dumbbells. I'm using 20s, whatever uh, weight that you wanna use. The main thing is just movement efficiency and again, is safety. So with the sumo, we're gonna take a wide position with our feet, back is nice and flat, weights in your heels. You're gonna go hips back, knees out, tap that ground, Lift up the chest, come to extension, and stand tall. So you're going to hit those six reps. And on the sixth rep, when you bring it up, you're going to jump it up to the front squat. Okay? For the front squat, main thing, your feet are shoulder width apart. Toes are slightly pointed out. We're going to drop down to full squat depth. We're going to go ahead, raise the hips, stand tall, and come to full extension. Six reps. When you're done with the front squat, the next one is gonna be a double arm swing, like a kettlebell swing. So what's gonna happen is, after rep six, I'm gonna go ahead, bring these kettlebells to the inside. Chest is up, shoulders are back and down, and you're gonna get six double arm swings, just popping up this weight to eye level, okay? After you get six, you're gonna go ahead and move to the alternating press, okay? So the press, your rear cage is down, feet underneath your hips, you're gonna press up to full extension. You're gonna come right back down and you're gonna go ahead and hit that right on the opposite side, okay? Three each side, six all day. As soon as we get six, we're gonna hip hinge, okay? Back stays nice and flat and we're just gonna do an alternating row. I'm gonna extend, elbow into my lat, right back down, opposite side. And I'm gonna hit that for six reps. So. Ideally, in a perfect world, you hit your 100 jump rope singles and then you knock out one movement after another. Six, six sumo, six front squats, six of your double arm swings, six alternating press, six bent over rows. You rest and you repeat, okay? The goal is to keep the resistance, meaning the weight, at a decent load where you challenge the body, but you still move very efficiently, okay? Now, Moving to the core piece. If you haven't done these movements before, hollow rocks, leg raises, or front to back planks, let me break it down for you. 
I love hollow rocks. Hollow rocks are a great movement. So looking at the anatomy or the breakdown of a hollow rock, you're going to drop down to the ground and you're going to create what we call a hollow body position. And all that means is you're going to drop down to the ground. You're going to pin your rib cage straight down, get your hands over your head, create a very stabilized position and you're going to rock. Okay. Every time you rock down, that's one rep. If you need to modify a hollow rock, you can pull one leg to the inside, keep that rib cage down, extend one arm, and then you can rock from there. And again, every time the heel goes down, that's one rep. After the 20 reps, go right into your leg raises. Leg raises, okay? Rib cage comes down, arms behind the head. We're gonna go up about two feet, right back down, and we're gonna repeat, okay? That's going to target the lower abdominals. And finally, last but not least, is your front to back planks. Okay? Perfect plank just means that your back is nice and straight. Your hips aren't sagging and or you're not rounding the spine. So our goal will be to get into a nice flat position. Okay? You're going to squeeze your core. You're going to drive up through the forearms and the shoulders. We're going to fall forward and then straight back. That's one rep. You're going to do 20 of those. Now, again, if that's too much, you can scale and modify this however you need to. So let's say you do 10 reps. Okay. Nonetheless, 10, 10, 20 or 20, 20, 20, whatever's best for you. Rest in between and see if you can get three rounds of core, three rounds of core. Okay. So guys, that's today's Kanak attack complex have fun with it rocket main thing movement mechanics safety and having fun guys enjoy the workout guys if you have any questions about this workout you can hit us up in the feed have a great day have a great workout aloha from everybody here at heli fitness